Good evening and welcome to Our Lady of Good Council and for our Stations of the Cross tonight. We just wanted to point out for those of you who are unfamiliar, we're praying the Divine Mercy version of the Stations of the Cross. Everything will be projected. Monsignor Halfpenny will lead us in this. He will speak the scripture and uh, roles that um, it says Jesus next to it. I will speak the role of St. Faustina, and then all of us will come together and pray the concluding prayers. So we'll all be projected for you um, on the screens. We should just want to focus on that. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. Do not be surprised that you are sometimes unjustly accused. I myself first drank this cup of undeserved suffering for the love of you. When I was before Herod, I obtained a grace for you, namely, that you would be able to rise above human scorn and follow faithfully in my footsteps. We are sensitive to words and quickly want to answer back without taking any regard as to whether it is God's will that we should speak. A silent soul is strong. No adversities will harm it if it perseveres in silence. The silent soul is capable of attaining the closest union with God. Eternal Father, Eternal Father I offer you the body, the body and blood, blood soul and divinity, and your dear and beloved Son, Son our, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, an atonement, atonement for our sins, sins and those, those of the whole world. world. For, the for the sake, sake of his sorrowful passion, passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. The second station Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and placed it on his head, clothed him in a purple cloak, and they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak, and he said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Do not be afraid of sufferings. I am with you. The more you will come to love suffering, the purer your love for me will be. Jesus, I thank you for the little daily crosses for opposition to my endeavors, for the hardships of life, for the misinterpretation of my intentions, for humiliations at the hands of others, for the harsh way in which we are treated, for false suspicions, for poor health and loss of strength, for self-denial, for dying to myself, for lack of recognition in everything, for the upsetting of all my plans. Eternal Father, Eternal Father I, offer I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Through her heart his sorrow sherry. All his bitter anguish bear. Now at length the 
sword had passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. You have redeemed the world. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all, and he shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for their offenses. My daughter, write that involuntary offenses of souls do not hinder my love for them or prevent me from uniting myself with them. But voluntary offenses, even the smallest, obstruct my graces, and I cannot lavish my gifts on such souls. O my Jesus, how prone I am to evil, and this forces me to be constantly vigilant, but I do not lose heart. I trust God's grace, which abounds in the worst misery. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for us and those of the whole world. Son, have mercy on us. Amen. Oh, how sad and sore distress! Was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one? The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce. <clears throat> Listen, although all the works that come into being by my will are exposed to great sufferings, consider whether any of them has been subject to greater difficulties than that work which is directly mine the work of redemption. You should not worry too much about adversities. I saw the Blessed Virgin. She held me close to herself, and she said to me, Be courageous. Do not fear apparent obstacles, but fix your gaze upon the passion of my Son, and in this way you will be victorious. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of this whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pain. Of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. I permit adversities in order to increase merit. I do not reward for good results, but for the patience and hardship undergone, undergone for my sake. Oh, my Jesus. You do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the goodwill and labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace, even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, 
soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Is there one who would not weep, wound in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to be all. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, nor appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men hide their faces, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. Know that whatever good you do to any soul, I accept it as if you had done it to me. I am learning how to be good from Jesus, from him who is goodness itself, so that may, I may be called a daughter of the Heavenly Father. Great love can change small things into great ones, and it is only love which lends value to our actions. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold, The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Yes, it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted. The cause of your falls is that you rely too much upon yourself and too little on me. Without special help from me, you are not even capable of accepting my graces. Jesus, do not leave me alone. You know, Lord, how weak I am. I am an abyss of wretchedness. I am nothingness itself. So what will be so strange if you leave me alone and I fall? So you, Jesus, must stand by me constantly, like a mother by a helpless child, and even more so. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with bloody scourges rent. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves. Oh, how pleasing to me is living faith. I desire that you would all have more faith at the present time. 
I fervently beg the Lord to strengthen my faith so that in my drab everyday life, I will not be guided by human dispositions, but by those of the Spirit. Oh, how everything drags man towards the earth, but lively faith maintains the soul in the higher regions and assigns self-love its proper place, that is to say, the lowest one. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sins of his own nation, Saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth, like a lamb led to the slaughter or a sheep before the shears. He was silent and opened not his mouth, but the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. My child, know that the greatest obstacles to holiness are discouragement and an exaggerated anxiety. These will deprive you of the ability to practice virtue. I am always ready to forgive you. As often as you beg for it, you glorify my mercy. My Jesus, despite your graces, I see and feel all my misery. I begin my day with battle and end it with battle. As soon as I conquer one obstacle, ten more appear to take its place. But I am not worried because I know that this is the time of struggle, not peace. Eternal, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, the Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for his sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O oh, Mother Fountain of Love, make me feel the force of The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. When the soldiers took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier, they also took his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it will be in order that the passage of the scriptures might be fulfilled. Jesus was standing suddenly before me, stripped of his clothes, his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood, his face disfigured and covered with spittle. The Lord then said to me, the bride must resemble her betrothed. I understood these words to their very depth. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. Eternal, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Make me feel as thou hast felt. 
Make my soul to glow and mend with the love of Christ my Lord. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests and the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. My pupil, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. O my Jesus, you know what efforts are needed to live sincerely and unaffectedly with those from whom our nature flees, or with those who, deliberately or not, have made us suffer. Humanly speaking, this is impossible. At such times more than at others, I try to discover the Lord Jesus in such a person, and for the same Jesus, I do everything for such people. Eternal, Eternal Father. Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy Mother, pierce me through in my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. But when, he came to Jesus, when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. This is for the salvation of souls. Consider well what you are doing for their salvation. Then I saw the Lord nailed to the cross. When he had hung on it for a while, I saw a multitude of souls cru crucified like him, then I saw a second multitude of souls, and a third. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them and were discontent. Do you see these souls? Those who are like me in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory. Those who also resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer Father, you the body and blood, soul, soul and divinity of your, your dearly, dearly beloved, beloved Son, Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins was slain, 
who for me in torments died. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, this man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breasts, and, but all his acquaintances stood at a distance. Most dear to me is the soul that strongly believes in my goodness and has complete trust in me. I keep my confidence upon it and give it all it asks. I fly to your mercy, compassionate God, who alone are good. Although my misery is great and my offenses are many, I trust in your mercy because you are the God of mercy. And from time immemorial, it has never been heard of, nor do heaven or earth remember that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths along with the spices, according to the Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb, in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. You are not yet in your homeland, so go, fortified by my grace, and fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would, and remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merit for heaven. I expect from you a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. Every soul you have entrusted to me, Jesus, I will try to aid with prayer and sacrifice so that your grace can work in them. O oh, great lover of souls, my Jesus, I thank you for the immense confidence with which you have deemed to place souls in our care. Eternal, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. Oh my Jesus, my only hope, thank you for the book which you have opened before my soul's eyes. That book is your passion, which you underwent for the love of me. It is from this book that I have learned how to love God and souls. In this book, there are found for us inexhaustible treasures. O oh, Jesus, how few souls understand you in your martyrdom of love. Happy the soul that has come to understand the love of the heart of Jesus. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
go in peace.